All right, here we go. About to start match number five of the evening. Tim Scout and Brian Costco. Cage is being locked. Kevin McDonald in the center ring right now. Fighters right. are ready. Here we go. Regular UFC ref, Kevin McDonald. Absolutely. On the regular. So Brian tells me that he wants to pressure him against the cage. So we're going to see how, how this comes out. Automatically, Tim goes and takes takes center of the cage, doing a great job stuffing the takedown. He knows it's coming. Brian again with a shot, brings it to the mat. Immediately, immediately starts tying him up. Tim's in a little bit of trouble here. You can see Brian. What Brian's going to try and do is he needs to he needs to cut around the corner and try to take Tim's back. But Tim's Tim's staying heavy on top. Tim wants to get out of there right now. He absolutely he's gonna, does. He's he's pre yep. He's going to pressure Brian against the fence. He's going to try and use that fence to his advantage because then Brian can't Brian can't get away and create any space. Jiu Jitsu is all about creating that space so that you can hit your move. Tim's going to drive his left shoulder into Brian's face, up against the cage, and he's going to try and throw right hands or left hands. See, what Brian wants to do now is he wants to wall walk. So he wants to get his back up against the cage. He wants to push on the hips of Tim and be able to kind of walk with your back up the cage so that he can kind of create a, a better situation for himself because right now up against the cage, he can't get anywhere. No, and actually Tim's doing a really good job uh, up top uh, getting in some strikes uh, while they're resetting and stuff like that. He's doing a really good job up top. So Tim's walked himself into half guard on top of Brian. He's reaching for what looks like a guillotine choke. He may just be using it for position just to hold Brian down so that he can just continue throwing bombs. And he is, he's definitely getting into, again, he's getting in a couple of good shots. See, the numbers and the record don't, don't all do it justice. You know, this is a good, it's a good, it's a good matchup. We've got Tim and Mount now. But actually, Brian's not in a bad spot where his feet, he can use his feet against the cage. He's got to buck. He's got to buck. He's got to use his hips, and he's got to buck Tim up and get him up over his head and reverse this situation. Just holding and blocking like that's not going to do him any good. Well, thankfully, Brian, they're about to ring the bell just in time as he's 100% he's defensive right now. Saved by the bell could not mean more than it does right now. Brian looking a little stunned, a little slow to get up from the corner over there. Uh, what do you think his coaches are going to tell him? I think that we need to see a little bit more aggression out of Brian. Um, he just kind of looks like he doesn't want to be in there right now. If he's not feeling it. And I'm hoping that that first round warmed him up a little bit. Give him a little smack in the face, a little ice in the back of the neck. Get him out there and say, hey, listen, let's get a little more out of right. you here. And Absolutely. Uh, we know what we need to do. We need to take him down. We need to be on top, Brian. Okay, we're gonna use top position. We don't wanna be on our back. We're, we're not that active there in that last round, so be on top. Yeah, he spent the majority of round one uh, on his back and, and just fighting for his life. And, and again, at the end, if that bell didn't ring, he would have been done. Yeah, see, Tim's a long, he's, he's not a jiu-jitsu guy, but he's a long guy. So when you're on bottom, there's a long guy, and he sits up, and he postures up, he's got all that room to just start throwing down punches that Brian's got to wrap, start wrap, reaching up and wrapping and grabbing around the back of the belly and sucking in and, right. and, and breaking the posture down. It's a lot of work for, for a shorter, smaller guy. Well, let's see what happens. We're going into round two right now. Kevin McDonald's center of the ring. Cage is being locked. Uh, let's see what happens this round. It's probably going to go to the ground quick. I mean, it seems like they both want to be there. It's just a matter of who can take control first. Okay, like so I said, within seconds. Right off the bat, Brian Costco, great takedown. 
here. We've got good defense from uh, Tim Scooton. Tim's got to get a cross face. That's when the forearm's going to come across the face. He doesn't know that right now. He's not doing a bad job. Okay, he's got a guillotine choke. He can work this guillotine choke. Now, Brian, being the brown, he knows he's got to reach up over the shoulder to stop that guillotine. But instead, he, he's, he submits to his own back here. He's going to try and work, work jiu-jitsu off his back. He's in a shrimp position right now. Tim's going to do go right back to the bread and butter. Put him against the fence. Whale away. He's doing a good job. Action going on right in front of us right now, so we really got a good view of what's going on. Yeah, you can see Tim's Tim's a righty, so he's going to take his left hand. He's going to put it across the mouth, across the face, across the neck. Hold. He's going he's going to hold Brian down, and he's going to just fire away with that right. Tim's doing a good job. He's he's putting his weight on Brian. Brian's carrying all this weight right now. It's really it's it's hard. It's it, it makes it much more difficult for him to try and escape when he's holding his opponent's weight all day. Right, it's going to tire him out a lot quicker. You know, referee Kevin McDonald standing over them right now to make sure they keep moving around because this this you know everyone could just stay locked up for a while with no movement. But so far, it seems like they're always going. Great move right there by Tim. You could see he, he Matt Hughes them. He took his hand. He he, he took the, the the right wrist of Brian Costco, pinned it to the mat, and then took Tim took his own knee and pinned his arm down with the knee so that he could sit there and strike. Well done. Now you can see that Tim's almost in a baseball slide jujitsu move where you wanna you wanna slide like you slide into home plate. It creates all that pressure and that weight of your body goes on top of of, of Brian and Brian's gonna carry that. It's hard to breathe. Now he moves to Mount, and he's going to just pound away. Brian's right back to where he ended yeah. last round. And unless Brian bucks and moves, this, this is going to be the end of the fight here. Back to Mount. As long as Tim stays busy here, Kevin's going to call it. Yeah, Brian's got nothing right now. It's going to be called any moment now. He's telling Brian to move. He's got to move. Brian rolls and he's going to give up Mount again, and that's yeah, it. Kevin's seen enough. And that's a great debut by Tim Scooton. Absolutely, uh, a guy with, uh, fighting a guy with nine fights, a BJJ brown belt, and that's your, that's your first win. I'll take that all day. Yeah, no, again, he, he did very well, and like you, you called it perfect at the end. You know, he kept he kept he knew that the referee was watching over him, and, if, and, and as long as he kept going, it was going to be done. At the point, Brian got to the point of exhaustion where he wasn't even going to be able to defend those punches anymore. Hell of a debut! Hey, how many how many thirty nine year olds do you see in there anyway? <laughs> Not too many. Yeah, we did see two forty year olds in there earlier. We did for twenty seven seconds. <laughs> 39 year old now and then upcoming we've got Ozzy Diaz at 41 year old, years old later in the card. Well and yeah we've had some older guys in some of the in some of the matches we've done together in the past. Uh, I remember a few years ago John English I got back in the ring he was up there. Yes he did. 